Alright guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, so it's been a while uh, since I've done a proper video, but I'm back. Uh, I'm going to be doing some tutorials and command black tutorials coming up pretty soon. Uh, but to start it off here, I'm going to do a tutorial on how you can up the uh, ore spawns and dungeon spawns and uh, water height and, and stuff like that and customize your Minecraft world. Uh, to how you want it. Uh, this is good for things like UHC. Uh, if you don't want it to be quite as much of a grind as it usually is, you can use this method to uh, kind of, you know, up the gold, up the diamonds, make people gear up a little quicker, and uh, speed up the UHC a little bit. So, if we go to single player and create a new world, you have to do this through uh, single player, like creating a world through single single player. I don't think you can do this through just putting the map, like just generating a map straight from a server. Uh, so you have to first make the world in single player and then afterwards uh, drag it over. So once you're into the create a new world menu, uh, you want to go down to this more world options. You click on that and then after that you want to go to the world type. Change that to uh, customized uh, like that. Uh, and then you go to the customize button and this is essentially the window where you change all the stuff and things so these two second windows here uh, we don't really want to focus at these are a little bit more complicated things I could get into that in another video but I would have to do some more research on that alright so what we want to look at is these two first pages here so on the first page is more um, easy basic uh, sort of stuff uh, you can change the sea level which is quite useful uh, you can make the sea uh, water level be lower uh, if you would want to have that. You can also turn off caves, villages, temples, and structures. You can't actually change the spawn rate of these structures. Um, I don't, I don't exactly know how you can do that, but I may do a tutorial on that in the future if I do figure it out. Uh, I believe you can do it through super flat, but uh, generating a normal world, I don't know how really you would do it. So you, but what you can change though is the dungeon count. So this is like this when this is set to seven. That is essentially the normal spawn rate of dungeons. If you put it to fourteen, it will double, and uh, so forth. And you can put that wherever you like. Um, these are just water lakes. These are the small patches of water and stuff. We don't really want to focus on this. So let's just go to the next page. Oh, you can also set a specific biome here, which is quite useful but let's skip to the next page here so this window right here is what we want to focus on uh, this is where you can change um, the block spawn rate of any blocks that are uh, that spawn in in stone so essentially underground or within mountains and so forth so you see have you have dirt gravel granite diorite andesite these are all things that can be fine within stone but what we want to focus on is down here so here we have we have coal, iron, gold, redstone, diamond, and lapis lazuli. So these are the ores in Minecraft. So as you can see below coal here, there are some settings. Well, let's do gold actually, just as a better example. So as you can see up here, um, like here, uh, spawn tries for gold are very low. This is essentially the amount of veins that will spawn uh, gold, like the rarity of a gold vein. Uh, as you can see up here, iron and coal are a lot more common. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make gold and diamond a little bit more common. So if we turn this up to 4, that will double the spawn rate of gold. If we take it to 8, it will quadruple the spawn rate of gold. Uh, I found this is really good for UHC as it speeds up the gold gathering a little bit and uh, you don't really have people underground all the time gearing up <laughs> um, for years. So yeah uh, there's also max height and max uh, minimum height these are essentially the y coordinate like between these y coordinates there will you know the ore will spawn uh, so you could make it so that gold could for example spawn wherever uh, not just uh, close to bedrock and uh, this is really important as well this is the spawn size this is essentially the size of the vein so nine I I believe only gold can spawn in 8, but apparently it can spawn in 9. I don't really know what this means, uh, but I, I guess potentially it could spawn in 9. So I believe this is just one more block as you go up. That's like the maximum 
vein size um, right there. So you can mess with that however you like. Um, that will be in addition to the spawn price, so you will get even more gold if you up this. And uh, yeah, so you could just up these however you like. <laughs> kind of overdoing it here. Uh, but this will make the uh, the ores a lot less, a lot more common. <laughs> Let's just go all out here before we end the video, just for the lulls, right? Okay. This is going to be pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, so let's try. Press done. Uh, yeah, uh, if I missed it, the dungeon count, let's turn that up as well. So we'll get some interesting s results from that. <laughs> let's press done. Uh, create the world. I will be right back as soon as this generates. I have a feeling it's going to take a little bit uh, because of all the stuff. So I'll be right back. It is taking its time. <laughs> there we go. We're in, uh, I'm actually really curious as to why there's so much water here, um, why there's so much ocean. I generated a world like this previously, and that also turned out like water, so I don't really know what's that all about. Um, but, okay, we need to get ourselves cheats here so we can game mode ourselves. So let's have a look underground, I'd say. Let's dig a little bit, and then we can game mode 3 to get a better... Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, so this is out of speed of UHC a little bit. Um, yeah, this is pretty crazy right here. So, I mean, for whatever reason, if you wanted to do this, you now know how. <laughs> and here's a dungeon. <laughs> Dungeons are way turned up. Let's, let's go into game with three here. Just get a last look. Oh my god, alright, there's a lot of dungeons, as you can see, dungeon rate, and diamond, and every ore in the game has been turned up a lot. <laughs> so yeah, um, that is essentially it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Um, if you would like more tutorials like this, kind of technical things about Minecraft, I've gotten really into command blocks lately, so I could give you some command blocks lessons as well. Uh, if you're interested in any of that, please leave a comment if there's anything that you want to know. Uh, but with further ado, thanks a lot for watching this video, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys.